Hey guys, Adam Splendid Sports, back for another episode of my PSA Binder series. This is number three. I created a playlist here on my YouTube channel where all the episodes will be. If you missed any of the first two, in the first one, I showed my Mickey Mantle base card playing days run. And then in the second one, I showed uh, two vintage baseball card subsets that I collect. And this one here, it's only going to be one page of this binder that I'm going to show. I'm going to slow roll this binder because it's dedicated, each page is dedicated to a vintage baseball legend that I want to have in my collection. I can't go the full player run, unfortunately, for all players that I'm interested in. Um, Mickey Mantle takes up so much of my budget that I had to put in a rule for myself where I limit myself to four playing days cards of each guy here. So in this binder, we have, you know, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, Stan Musial, Ted Williams, Sandy Koufax. Today's is going to be Roberto Clemente. And there's some others, but today's is Clemente. So I have three of my Fab Four in the binder already. One of them's off at PSA. So I actually have chosen my, my Fab Four for Clemente. I want to ask you in the comments, tell me what your Fab Four Clemente playing days cards would be. Now, you can you can choose the 3D Clemente or the, the rookie, uh, but I personally, you know, I, like I said, I, I play or collect Mickey Mantle, so there's not a ton of budget left over where I can go collecting some of these rookie cards or the, you know, the real expensive cards, at least right now. So um, I kind of, I said, I, I'm going to, within my budget, I'm going to pick what I feel are the, the four favorites for me. And I love, with other people's channels, I love when they show cards, but even more than that, I love when they tell the why and the how that they're collecting a certain player run or a set. Uh, th those are the, the most interesting parts to me is why are they collecting that player or set or whatever? Or, and, and how are they doing it? You know, like with me, I'm, I'm, I choose a certain way to do these uh, parts of my collection. Uh, and I, I find that really interesting. So that's one of the big reasons I'm doing this is to uh, give some insight on um, how I'm collecting, what I'm collecting and why. So let's take a look at my Clemente PSA graded page here. And I'll tell you the how and the why. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's my vintage baseball player binder. Each player only gets one page, four cards max. And I took the page out already. Here's the Clemente page. It's missing one card. The first one is reserved for the 1956 tops. That one is off at PSA. I'm hoping to get it back in the next couple weeks. And uh, that's an interesting one. That was an SGC5 with a PWCC eye appeal sticker on it. And I'm crazy. I cracked it out. And I sent it into PSA because I need consistency with this, all right? The SGC slabs, they don't fit. They're too big. They don't fit in these. They're made for PSA. So it's coming back a PSA. I don't know what. I'll do an update video for sure when I get that one back. And then the four will be complete. Uh, but just, you know, I'll talk more about the 56 tops and why I love that card so much when the card comes through. But that was number one. Uh, obviously, uh, the rookie is one of his best cards, if not his best card. Of course, you could say the maybe the Clemente 3D or there's some food and beverage stuff. Um, I'm sure the Clemente collectors, um, you can chime in in the comments and let me know. But everyone, I'd love to know what would your four be? What would your fab four Clemente playing days cards be? You can do it within your budget or you can do your dream list where money's not an option. Either way, whatever you want to do. Uh, with me, obviously, you know, like I mentioned, the budget comes into play. So tried to pick four that uh, aren't the most expensive cards of his, but... They're my, you know, from a design standpoint, uh, from other standpoints that uh, just are four of my favorites or my four favorites, really. So the 56, I'll talk more about that one. Uh, but this next one here, I love this set, 64 top stand up Clemente in a PSA 7. And this is, this might be my favorite Clemente card because the why is it shows him throwing. There's very few cards of Clemente in his playing days that show him throwing. And for me, you know, growing up as a kid, that was the number one thing I would hear about Clemente. I mean, there's so many great things about him as a person and a player, all time great legend, but it was his throwing arm that really, for me, uh, created that, that magic when I was a kid hearing about him, you know, how great of a throwing arm he had. And, and uh, so this card represents that for me. And I just love the design, the green and the yellow and everything about it. Uh, I just love this card. So that was number two. Number three is the 65 tops. Uh, man, this is a nice three too. PSA three, nicely centered. 
Great, great card. I love this one. Uh, I'd love the 65 Tops design, uh, but really what put this one into the page right here is for me, I love the significance of it because for me, I'm a big fan of Beckett, right? So here is my copy of the first ever baseball card, Beckett Monthly from November 1984. And I was lucky enough to get this personally autographed by Dr. James Beckett at this year's national. So I had him sign that for me, awesome collectible. And as you see here, the 65 tops was on the first copy of Beckett baseball card monthly, along with the uh, Rick Cerrone rookie card. Oh, I guess, I guess Dale Murphy too. Yeah, Dale Murphy rookie card. Uh, but yeah, I just, I feel like it's, I love that card anyway, but then, you know, when I saw that it was on the first ever Beckett, it kind of put it over the top for me. And it's an affordable card compared to some of the other ones. And so that's why it made the four. All right. And the last one, well, maybe one of the best PSA sixes you'll ever see in this card. This card, we can zoom in on it a little bit. This card is, man, just beautiful. Uh, great for the grade, obviously, like, like I'm saying there, but the card itself, uh, just, a perfect design, you know, with the black and the yellow and the pose, the photo, I mean, everything about it. Just a great, great card. One of my top four. And here we are. So guys, in the comments again, let me know what your four would be or anything you wanna say. So this was my Clemente page. We got other ones coming up, like I said, Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Koufax, Stan Musial, Ted Williams, and I'll try to ask those same type of questions in those videos too. You give me your feedback on that. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.